Conversations about UFOs and the possibility of life beyond Earth is getting closer each day to being commonplace. And Congress is now prepared to put more funding into the research and reporting of unidentified aerial phenomena. The House approving an amendment to its annual defense spending bill Wednesday to establish a secure system for reporting UFOs. Now, you may remember Congress held a historic hearing on UFOs earlier this year. During that meeting, the government further legitimized the existence of UFOs, but the hearing still fell short of any confirmation the sightings were extraterrestrial. Now, stories of life beyond Earth and reported sightings are lighting up the sky, and with the U.S. government backing research efforts, we could soon have confirmation on whether or not we are alone. So joining us now is space journalist Leonard David. Leonard, it is always so good to talk to you. Uh, we know that reporting may ultimately be easier, you know, if this goes through, but will the average American be able to gain any more tangible knowledge in the long run? I think this is great. And, you know, we got to uh, quit meeting like this on this UFO thing. This is getting really real. Uh, I mean, you know, I've, I've been following this most of my life and uh it really is getting so exciting about uh people having the ability to turn in their uh, uh eye contact you know with with uh, some kind of uh, visual sighting so yeah i think it's just a really good step forward uh the floodgates some people are saying in the ufo community the floodgates are going to be open now we'll see uh, I, I, I got to be a reporter here and be a little cynical. Uh, got to be careful about how this is going to be set up, what kind of reporting system, uh, you know, how closed in it's going to be. Uh, yeah. But you know, this is great news for the for the community. Well, mentioning the floodgates there, I, I want to get to that. But first, it kind of explain quickly what is the reporting process like now? I mean, why is there a need to make it easier? Well, it's a little haphazard. I mean, we, I, I, I get people sending me emails that, that they saw something. That's how pathetic it is. You know, <laughs> you know I, I, I get a lot of these emails from people that see something and don't know what it is. And so, you know, having a unified kind of reporting system would be a good thing. Uh, again, I'm a little you know, careful about how this is going to be set up. Right. Well, you know, so you mentioned the floodgates there, Leonard. You know, are you concerned or are there concerns that, you know, like anything, you know, people could try to take advantage of this new system? Well, I think, you know, there's a lot of false alarms in, in any kind of sightings. You know, people see space debris coming in and, oh, that's a UFO. Uh, that's not a UFO. And there are so, there's so much, um, I'll be honest with you, historical baggage about Roswell and aliens crawling out of crashed spacecraft and all this kind of stuff. We don't know yet what all this is going to go to. And I do want to kind of underscore something I think is important. I think this UAP, Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon, may be something different than what unidentified flying objects in the past have been uh, purported to be. I think we got to separate these things, uh, but I'm not sure. Right. And maybe I'm this new reporting could help do that, too. So I think know, this yeah. will help. Exactly. And so More I think data. we're on a roll here. All right. This is great. Well, it's a step forward and let's go see what we're going to find. All right. Well, Leonard, space journal. Listen, if, if space journalist Leonard David is happy with this, we are happy with it, too. Thank you so much for your time. Good to see you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.